from ABC News. This is ABC World News with Diane Sawyer. Good evening to you. We begin with eight young men, some of them still teenagers, who summoned the courage to step forward in public and testify against the man they called their abuser, former coach Jerry Sandusky. In the courtroom today, they told of calling for help, but no one heard. The prosecution is winding down as one accuser raised his arm and pointed directly at Sandusky. Here's ABC senior national correspondent Jim Avila. Just four days of testimony in the Jerry Sandusky trial, but the prosecution's parade of eight alleged victims, if true, bravely telling their stories through pain and embarrassment, exposed a seemingly consistent pattern of heartbreaking abuse that had the jury crying as Sandusky barely blinked an eye. The prosecution's case, in my view, was overwhelming and devastating. Today, a final disturbing revelation. Sandusky, prosecutors say, could have been stopped more than a decade ago. This 25-year-old man, who during his alleged encounter with the former football coach, remembers his mentor calling himself the Tickle Monster. It was deep inside the Penn State showers, the boy 13 then. Sandusky, he says, bear-hugging him, saying, I'm going to squeeze your guts out. The boy tells his mom immediately, and police set up a sting. Sandusky and mom in one room, police listening in another. The officer tells the jury today he heard Sandusky say, I wish I could ask for forgiveness. I know I won't get it from you. I wish I were dead. Police consider it a confession and tell the district attorney charges warranted. But nothing is filed, and according to prosecutors, six more boys are abused before Sandusky is finally arrested in 2011. An opportunity that wasn't missed just by one person, it was missed by multiple people. And it's, it's saddening, and it adds to the pain that this young man suffered.